three mules. To meet the demand for compactness and mobility, companies are constantly innovating with unconventional devices to tap into free energy. For example, there's a flower that harnesses solar power. No, it's not a mystical flower made of some mysterious material. It's a solar panel that unfolds like a fan or a pretty plant from a compact shape for easy carrying. Even though it resembles a flower, it's not lightweight like plants. It weighs about 419 pounds of pure carbon fiber. That might not be much on an industrial scale, but for personal use, moving it around by hand would be quite a task. Once it's up and running, a neat feature is its ability to automatically follow the sun all thanks to the built-in GPS system. It's pretty standard technology in a lot of solar panels and really amps up its effective power output to about 2 kilowatts when conditions are just right. No matter the weather or hits it takes, this panel can handle it all. It was made to survive the toughest conditions imaginable. Biogas Plant this creation lets you repurpose food scraps into energy usable for various tasks instead of tossing them away. The contraption resembles a barrel with extra features, effortlessly taking in biodegradable waste mixed with sewage through an entrance chamber. Once inside, special bacteria work their magic, turning the waste into gas. The primary element of the gas is methane, essentially a source of energy. You can do lots of things with the gas you make, but mostly people use it for cooking. One device per small family of three to five people produces enough gas to keep a single stove burner going for over two hours every day. As more of these mini recycling farms spring up, you'll start seeing more gadgets that can use this biogas. Even though this invention handles complex conversions, putting it together is simple, taking just one to four hours, and it only needs 11 square feet of floor space. So you can set up this handy invention almost anywhere without breaking a sweat. For those who like to save, this invention is a gem. It reduces daily firewood or fuel usage for cooking by 70 to 90 percent, and it also pays back its cost in only two years. Skywolf One major issue with wind turbines and solar panels is their space requirements. Yet the Skywolf craftsmen have come up with a solution by developing a hybrid device that addresses this concern. The company's creation is a wind turbine easily recognizable by its rotating blades. However, what sets it apart is its unconventional design. It's enclosed, and you'll also spot solar panels on its surface. This unique turbine from Skywolf is a hybrid harnessing both wind and solar energy simultaneously. Imagine how much less space you'd need with a single device that's 33 feet tall, 6 feet wide, and can extract free energy energy in two different ways. It beats having separate wind turbines and solar panels. Although the device is made to save space, it works just as well as regular solar panels and wind turbines. When the wind blows at 20 miles per hour, the wind generator produces 50 kilowatt hours of energy. And at 40 miles per hour, it generates 145 kilowatt hours. Plus, it can make energy in winds ranging from 4.5 to 60 miles per hour. It can start producing energy at really low wind speeds of 4.5 miles per hour, unlike many turbines that are pretty much useless at that speed. This gadget efficiently generates energy while operating at an incredibly low noise level of just 25 decibels, quieter than the average human conversation. Meridian Getting energy for free is great, but having a solar panel that's small and can move around makes it even better. The ESSA Systems panel is designed to be easily changed, which is what makes it perfect for extracting free energy. It's easy to fold and unfold, making it super mobile so you can store it in tight spaces and then unfold it six times larger wherever you need it. While prioritizing mobility, the creators didn't forget about efficiency. This means the Meridian panel can produce anywhere between 1,800 and 7,000 watts of power based on how it's set up. Plus, it adjusts its position with the GPS tracker to follow the sun and work more efficiently. Solar Carport if you're looking to generate free energy for two needs simultaneously, think about outfitting a garage with solar panels. It's not exactly your typical garage, it's got just one wall and no doors, but it does a great job keeping out the rain. 
Plus, if needed, you can easily add a carport extension to turn it into a regular garage. You can easily see the carport's second purpose because it's got solar panels on the roof. They generate power at a rate of 200 volts per 10 square feet, enabling the carport to shield the car from rain while also keeping an electric car charged. Any extra electricity can be used for other gadgets or sold, making it a way to earn from the energy produced for free. Helix 3.0 Looking at this turbine, you might think that anyone would be happy to have it on the property just because it looks good. However, its significance extends beyond just looks. There's not much more to say about how the love side turbine looks except that it's elegant, really pleasing to the eye and just downright beautiful. Watching it spin can be pretty mesmerizing, mainly because of its vertical axis and spiral shape. Thanks to this, the wind turbine is not only beautiful but also productive. Thanks to its shape, it can work well even in light winds and catch wind from any direction. Thanks to its unique design, it starts generating 3 kilowatts of energy at just 35 miles per hour, standing out from the plethora of competitors. Also, the developers of Helix 3.0 took steps to ensure the turbine's protection. They included an overload clutch, making sure it operates safely even in stormy conditions with winds up to 112 miles per hour. The turbine not only looks stunning, but also gets the job done efficiently. And here's the kicker. It's designed to be effortlessly installed, no fancy tools needed. That's because it comes with a fully assembled rotor secured on a transport frame. What's great about the Helix 3.0 turbine, just like many other wind turbines, is that you can set it up in almost as little time as it takes to put together a Lego wind turbine. Envelox Shearwind has developed a method to capture free energy from the wind that offers clear advantages compared to standard turbines. Performance is key here. This turbine's unique design, which you can see on the screen, is crucial. Its unusual shape lets it catch wind of any speed, directing it into a duct for a boost. Eventually, the sped-up wind powers one or more ground-level wind turbines. Basically, the Envelox is six times more efficient than other turbines. What makes this turbine unique is its ability to operate at wind speeds lower than one mile per hour, setting it apart from most other turbines that struggle or cannot work at such slow speeds. E-Power Cube it might sound odd, but devices designed to harness free energy for homes often work best outdoors. Take, for instance, Wagon Tech's solar panel generator. Extracting free energy with a camping device is super handy because it's portable and doesn't take up much space. You can bring out the generator with panels only when you need them and stash it away in even the most cramped space. That's a great option if you don't want to put a large stationary solar panel permanently taking up a lot of space. Naturally, the creators wanted to make sure this little gadget was both mobile and effective they did a fantastic job because when unfolded, the device with its five small solar panels can produce 1,500 watts of energy in just seven to eight hours. That should easily cover the power needs for lighting and a few simple appliances. The device costs $1,100. People might have different opinions about its value, but it's likely that the device will pay for itself down the line. electric. Who wouldn't want to create their own energy, especially if you're a fitness buff? An electricity generating bike could be just what you need. All the parts for the bike are standard bicycle gear with some extra weights, a generator, and a 12-volt battery thrown in. The goal was to keep things straightforward so that anyone, anywhere in the world, can easily repair or service the bike. All you need to generate electricity is to sit and pedal. The cool thing is, thanks to the battery, you don't need to pedal all the time. For instance, you can pedal during the day to charge the battery, then use that power at night for home lighting. Plus, this exercise bike can also generate electricity for a fan, phone charger, and tablet as per its creators. What about the cost? There are two types of electricity generating bikes available, a $250 model suited for poor regions and another one priced between $1,200 and $1,500 meant for wealthier places. Your bike choice doesn't make a big difference. What matters most is accessing free energy, even if it requires some effort. K 
Kator. You don't need much to tap into free energy. Look at this pedal-powered device. All you do is pedal and it produces electricity. Sure, cycling for extended periods isn't a walk in the park. However, since your hands are free, you can multitask and take care of other important stuff at the same time. While it might struggle with numerous high-demand devices, this generator works like a charm for simpler gadgets. It offers 20 watts of power at 12 volts, perfect for charging low-energy tablets, smartphones, video gadgets, portable gaming gear, and more. It's also capable of charging four phones or two tablets simultaneously. There are devices that can't be charged right from the generator, so having a 12-volt battery might come in handy. You can also use this battery to store energy, such as by pedaling occasionally to store spare power in case the electrical grid goes offline. The device is small and light, measuring 12 by 5 by 3 inches and weighing just 4 pounds. With these specs, it's easy to take it along wherever you go to charge your gadgets for free, even if people around you give you odd glances while you're pushing hard on those pedals. Eco Drain. When we shower, we waste energy that could be used more effectively. Here's a solution that stops this valuable resource from going to waste. With these simple to install heat exchangers, the system captures heat from the shower's hot water. It might sound complicated, but essentially it captures the heat from warm water to heat up the incoming cold water. Inside the eco drain, the cold and hot water stay apart thanks to separate pipes and double walled systems. The people behind the eco drain system claim it could save you anywhere from $100 to $250 each year, depending on your location. By reusing energy, it also extends shower time by about 33%, all while keeping carbon emissions and electricity costs steady. Thermoelectric Generators It seems like most of the available free energy comes from the sun or wind. But there's another source worth knowing about, thermoelectric generators. The name might sound complicated, and when you get into the scientific details, things can get even more confusing. But in simple terms, these generators turn heat into electricity. Generators come in all shapes and sizes, and they all share one thing in common. They require heat. For example, this little device sits on a standard candle and starts making power at room temperature. It's an excellent choice for lighting. There's another thermoelectric generator that harnesses heat from a furnace instead of a small candle. It's placed on top and generates 45 watts, which could be sufficient for charging phones or less power-hungry gadgets. This generator is a more interesting option. What sets it apart isn't its increased power output, but its design. Looking like a lamp, it easily blends into indoor spaces. You can use it as a standalone light fixture or like the old thermoelectric generator to charge your phone. The previous generators didn't seem advanced, but this new version gives off a futuristic vibe. It appears like a gadget from tomorrow, and you can attach it to any device to produce power. Verde This device, designed for budget-conscious fitness lovers, is a standard model with features that enhance ease of use. It includes a spacious treadmill measuring approximately 21 by 58 inches, reduced friction, and various comfort upgrades. The treadmill offers options for walking, running, sprinting, or pushing a sled. It also tracks workouts so athletes can keep an eye on their progress and areas where they can improve. The best thing is when you run on the track, it actually creates electricity. As you step and move the belt, your body weight spins the flywheel, generating power. The amount of energy produced varies on how much you weigh, how fast you go, and how long you work out. During one session, you can generate between 50 and 250 watts. The treadmill starts by producing electricity for its own needs, allowing it to work off-grid. Surplus power can be directed elsewhere, like charging your phone or other devices while running. Additionally, the creators claim the treadmill can power a fan and a TV at the same time. Universities can be a fantastic choice for incorporating energy-generating fitness gear. Imagine this. Your laptop's low on battery, so you hop on the treadmill. Your laptop charges up, and you get a good workout. 